Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today we're doing something a little bit different. I wanted to start as an intro here, but we're actually gonna be trying out for the very first time the new game Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley. Snufkin is a musical adventure about restoring harmony and balance to Moomin Valley and protecting it from the industrious park keeper according to its Steam page. I am so grateful to have received this game for free from Snufkin, but this isn't a paid review. I'm just going to play it and see how we feel. So let's get started. All right. First impression already pretty good. The game is so cute. I love this menu screen. Let's go ahead and start a new game. I love the art style in this game, by the way. It's one of the things that immediately drew me. Also, the fact that the character is kind of a redhead, right? Aren't they? I'll miss you terribly, Snuffkin. Are you sure you need to go? Okay. So Snuffkin is the character. It's autumn, it's time I'll be on my way. Besides, you Moomins will be sleeping all winter. I never had like any kind of Moomin merch growing up. So I'm interested to see how this game is like for someone who doesn't really know Moomin as a character. I know, but promise you'll be back. I'll be back in spring as always. The like watercolor art. Oh, it's so beautiful. Then I'll be waiting for you here on the bridge as always. Goodbye, Moomin Troll. See you in the spring. Oh, this is stunning. Snuffkin is so cute, bro. I guess my main goal today is to see if I want to continue playing this game, if it's the type of cozy that I recommend, especially to Animal Crossing players since that's my primary audience. So I hope this will be a good little first look at the game for you so far. I just can't get over the art style. I think it's gorgeous, but the music as well is so calming. It's a very relaxing experience so far already just with the intro here. I'm getting close to Moomin Valley. I can't wait to meet Moomin Troll again. He should have woken from his winter slumber by now. So we've passed by the entire time that this character is away from Moomin Troll. New quest. When spring arrives, Moomin Troll can always be found waiting by the bridge. It'll be great to see him again. The running is so cute. Stop. Oh, there's something. Is it really him? Snuffkin? Hello? Who's there? Yikes. Small creature. Strange. Okay, so I guess we don't get to see that yet. I also don't know where the bridge is. We're just running around right now. You can jump with space. Okay, so I can't really go that way. What if I'm not supposed to be here and I'm just hanging out? Hello, who are you? Too scared to talk. Look at the little guy. What the heck? Get it together. Just walk up and say hello. Ahem. You must be the great Snuffkin. Hello, who are you? Oh, nobody has ever asked me that before. I guess I'm too small and useless to have a name. Everybody deserves to have a name. Do you really mean that? Maybe you could help me find a name? Who is this little guy? Oh, I am kind of on my way to meet my old friend Moomin Troll. That's okay, I can tag along. I can even show you around these parts. Okay, so we have to find a suitable name for this guy.
He's like our little familiar. He's just joining us. Whoa, these guys are running. Okay. They seem distressed. Yeah, they did, but I don't know what's wrong. So we're just going to keep going in the direction they were running from. Even more animals leaving the valley. What's bothering them? Should I follow? If you discover a leak, do you follow the flow of water? Or do you track it back to the source? Go to where they came from. Your answer is probably there. Why would they be running from Moomin Valley? Oh, I can climb now. Nice. At least I seem to be going the right way for story progression. To pick up something, press S, then press it again to put it down. Oh, I'm making my own little pathway across here. Look at my peculiar little guy, do you think? We get to choose his name or is it going to be given? Oh, going behind these waterfalls is cool. Also, they're reminding me sound-wise of Animal Crossing. Waterfalls always have such an overwhelming sound in games. I'm going to assume I'm going to need this in a second. Also, because of the fact that some of the keys you would usually use for direction, A, S, D, and W, are used for, like, act actions you do have to use your arrow keys to move if you're using keyboard and mouse so that's interesting look at me pushing this rock i really do love the way this game looks so far the controls are really easy to adapt to i'm really enjoying it so far That friendly old chap could help us over. Who is this guy talking about? Try playing your harmonica for him. I have a harmonica? Hello? He looks scary, but he's really friendly, just like me. New item, harmonica. The mighty harmonica awakens the senses with its vibrant and hypnotic melodies. You can hold A to play the harmonica. Listen, nothing but respect, but I do think this guy is a little creepy. I didn't like that. Okay. There's a little friend symbol right now. They look like the creeps. Okay, who is that? Oh, you don't seem inspired enough to play for the creeps yet. Maybe we should look for inspiration. So what do I do here? This is such an interesting game mechanic, playing a harmonica so a guy will let you ride his head across the water. Hello? Oh, I got some inspiration from these bushes. To gather inspiration, try running through that bush. That bush seems packed with it. Can I get more than one from a bush or do I leave it alone? I'm going to assume you can only get one. Those bushes look inspiring. A bit hard to reach though. Try getting the bird to help by playing for it. Look at this little bird guy. Okay, that was interesting. So I can get him to hit the bushes for me. Nice. What a helpful lad. Oh my gosh, I leveled up. I'm so good. I'm too good at this game. 
I can push that log over and get some more inspiration while we're over here. That is so cute. So now I can play my harmonica for this guy. There, try getting it to follow. Oh my gosh, he's lifting me up. That is so cute. Okay, so now I need two little guys for this. Oh, I can get myself up using these rocks too. That's so cute. Okay. We're learning. Let me play my harmonica for this little creep. I think it's funny that they're called creeps also. That feels a little rude, but who am I? Now we can get this little guy over here. And now they can help us up. That was so cute. I love that the one had a little red hat. Oh, someone is yelling, help me. We're gonna go. <laughs> Snuffkin, save me from the monster. This guy's name is Sniff. Monster? Where? Oh, the spider is just a baby. Oh, hey, Sniff. Monster? You mean the spider? That hurts. Maybe you are the monsters here. Okay, so we've got to find a way to make the the spider move, though. wonder if I could... Hello, dear spider. Would you kindly move? Let me think about it. No. No. <laughs> Okay, honestly, I, I appreciate and respect that. This is a perfectly good spot. I like it here. Oh. Try scaring him? That seems rude. Nothing can scare me, not even birds. I've said too much. Okay, and the bird is over here, so let's go play our harmonica. Help a monster! That is so funny. What the heck? I'm free. On to new adventures. So glad we could help. What? Was the spider holding him or was he just paralyzed in fear? I'm so confused. Okay, we saved Sniff from the very harmless but very sarcastic spider. What does this guy do? Oh, now we've just got a butterfly following us. Okay. Oh, there's a little guy up here, too. Oh, we got a lot of uh, inspiration from that guy. All right. We're at level three for inspiration. I really like the layering for the level too, the way there are like little bushes and things in the foreground and then in the background as well. Let me see, did I lose my butterfly? I don't know where he went, okay. I don't understand everything yet, but we're getting there. Do you think I talk too much? No, little friend. Oh, we need three little creeps to get up there. Oh, here's one. We'll grab him. I like how the creeps are like hiding behind the bushes. Hello. Come here, pal. And then this guy. And now we are well equipped to go up this cliff area. I like that the game is kind of introducing mechanics pretty slowly so that you can really get the hang of it. Let's use these guys as a ladder. That does feel a little val or violating, but they are just happy to help, I suppose. Signs? Rules? In nature? Who would do something like this?
This is random, but do you ever think about how fit you would be if you had like a full VR setup so that like in order to run in the game, you actually had to run in real life? Imagine how much running I would do in a day between Animal Crossing, Fortnite, and now Snufkin. More signs? They don't belong here. I'm just kind of throwing out. So what does the no looking even mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What is this? Who would ruin the scenery this way? We do have a whole thing going on here. Something is terribly wrong. I can feel it. Snufkin is picking up on the vibes. Oh, this is a sign. I thought it was actually a guy just like standing here. I wonder what my name will be. Oh, this is cute. Okay, we're moving right along here. I'm just destroying property, to be honest. At least the signs are giving us inspiration, which is kind of questionable. How am I being inspired? By my rebellion? What's that over there? Oh, uh, the police? Remember, you were doing very important work here. Mm. Sir, yes, sir. Remind me again what my job was. So the park keeper, this, according to their steam, is like the villain of the game, I suppose, because he's the industrious park keeper. Sai, you need to uphold these rules at all times, 24-7. We're building the valley of the future here. So we've got some like moomin on moomin crime happening because the park keeper is in fact a moomin. What about bathroom breaks? Hello? That's so me. Halt, I need you to watch this park while I'm off on business. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these signs. Rules? Signs? This makes me so mad! Hmm, I was sure there were some rules here. No, no rules here. Nothing to see. Move along. N oh well, better go find some rules to uphold elsewhere. Look at me. So if I remove the rules, the police officers leave. Let's get rid of the rest of this park then. Wow, I'm really destroying property here. Oh, but look, nature is returning. Okay, this is adorable. Snufkin is kind of a baddie for that. Another hideous park blocking my way. I like how the officer is right there and he's just letting us take all these signs out. So we need this key that's under the bird. The bird's name is just bird. Cool. Small creature. She's upset. One of her ducklings seems to be stuck over there. Maybe there are more. Poor thing. So we need to presumably get the birds. Don't worry. I'll keep the you company while the heroic snufkin saves your ducklings. Okay, so I got this little duckling. He's really cute, by the way. Let's see if we can find some more. He's making the cutest little sounds, bro. Oh, there was one hiding under there. Oh, look at this. Just a cute little view you can appreciate. What the heck? That is so precious. Stop. Okay, I need some rocks, I suppose. Okay, three seems like a good number. I'm going to assume that this is all of her ducklings and we're gonna bring them back. They're so cute, bro. They're just sprinting. Okay, reunited. A lot of inspiration too. I've leveled up. You feel the inspiration flow through your body, enabling you to play even more heartfelt music. More creatures will respond to your music now. Excellent. Can I have a... Oh, I just got in the nest. TD, TD. What a wonderful sound, TD. I'm moved to tears. Maybe that could be your name, TD. TD, that makes me so happy. Almost too happy. Hmm. How about TD Woo? A happy start with a sad tale. 
Tidi Woo. Happy, sad, and beautiful. Like life itself. I love it. I shall no longer be known as he who met Snufkin. I am Tidi Woo, my own being with my own responsibilities. Look at this guy discovering his own life. Oh, so many responsibilities. Better get to them. I'll be needing a mailbox and bills. Oh, so many bills. That is, in fact, the adult experience, actually. We completed a quest. A name is not to be taken for granted, like so many of the Earth's wonders hidden in plain sight. Okay, I was stuck in the nest for a second, but here we go. We're going into this park where we're absolutely going to uh, decimate this po Oh, stop. I died. I died. Busted. I don't want to see you here again. Okay, we're gonna do better this time. Okay, I was so brave. Wow. <gasps> that was so scary. Stop. Do I need to get rid of this? Yeah. That park keeper has put up statues of himself. This guy is just gonna let us do this right in front of him. Oh. Oh, the bird is distracting him. What a G. Okay. Some more signs. We're gonna ka -chow. Ka chow Ka chow Well, if this is a stealth operation. Is this still considered a cozy game? If you're running from the police, essentially, I don't know. I have to start over? No, I don't. Okay. So I have to play for this guy. The fact that the police officers are so easily distracted is hilarious, bro. Had to time that one well. <gasps> oh, the police officer got... He got distracted. Okay. Oh my gosh, was that the last sign? I did it! Snufkin removed the entire park again. Heck yeah. Good riddance, just wait till Moomin Troll hears about this. I want to get back to Moomin Troll. Why haven't we seen that little guy yet? Oh, there's a little guy in a hole over here. Oh, he's a worm. Hello. Thank you, little guy, for helping me. I don't want to go all the way over here because there was a place to climb back there, but also... Maybe I'll go back and see where the climbing thing goes to. Oh, you do! You can sprint and you have some stamina. Interesting. I love my fashionable little boots. 
I wonder if we get like more instruments later to try. Oh my dear flowers, all dead. Who is this? Moomin Mama. Hello, Snuffkin dear. I just woke up from my winter slumber. Moomin Troll seems to have woken up before us. He's probably waiting for you by the bridge. How are you, Moomin Mama? Well, I was looking forward to tending to my flowers, but they're all dried out. But don't you worry about that. Go see your friend now. I feel like we should worry about it, but okay. Oh, we're like down in the valley. Now we're at this little house and all. Who is this? Hi, Moomin Papa. How are you? I just woke up and already there's a million things on my mind. My masterpiece gone and so is my boat. You finished your play? Congratulations. Have you seen Moomin Troll? <laughs> oh, isn't he here? Hmm, he's probably waiting for you by the bridge. When you see him, tell him to keep the windows shut. My theatrical masterpiece has blown all over the valley. Sounds like another quest for us, gathering little play pages. Maybe he knows where my boat is as well. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for your play and the boat. Okay, I don't think you can go in the house. We're just gonna run around here. I'm like kind of scared to see Moomin Troll because what if something is super messed up? The old bridge is right this way. No Moomin Troll? Okay, also no water, I'm just realizing. Okay. So the bridge is very sad now. What, the river is gone and Moomin Troll isn't here. What has happened? I must find out what has happened to Moomin Troll and the river. It can't just disappear. Okay, so being the person that I am, I somehow managed to mute my mic for the rest of the gameplay video. So we're already over halfway through. I figured I'd just walk you through the rest. Essentially, here, Little Mai tells us that Moomin Troll has been kidnapped, right, by this individual called the Grok. She really draws it out. It's really spooky. Here you get to see the, like, storytelling going on. So she says Moomin was sleeping his lazy winter slumber, not a care in the world. Here's Moomin Troll having a nice little nap and little Mai calls him quite selfish um she's definitely someone she's definitely a delight to be around and then there's this like really creepy creature coming out of the woods then suddenly she appeared the grok so yeah essentially what has happened is according to little Mai, the grok has come out of the woods and abducted moomin troll um it's kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. It's giving the hash slinging slasher from SpongeBob, but that was a whole thing. And so we have to go and find the Grok, right? We have to follow her like icy trail to figure out where the heck she took Moomin Troll. And that's what's going on here. Luckily, Snuffkin is a very astute individual. And so Snuffkin is like, hey, can we even trust little Maya? Is she telling the truth? So Sh Snuffkin, he does go and investigate. I also discover here, based on the wrong instrument alert, that we do get other instruments as you progress. So that's exciting. You won't just have a harmonica, you'll have a, a different array of things. Uh, here, it seems like we have some sort of flute. I did not realize and try to play my harmonica again, but I'm learning. I'm learning. So I do think it's cute that you have access to other instruments as you go. I was wondering if it would just be the harmonica leveling up, but no, you get to play other things too. So I'm excited to eventually see what those other instruments sound like, how the music is. Um, I think that's super cute. Honestly, you're kind of lucky I lost my mic for this part because I did take like 14 and a half years, minutes actually, to figure out where the frost trail was. Uh, but I did find it and here I am getting kind of towards the end of the trail. It does get, I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, this game did kind of creep me out for a second. I was like, wow, this is kind of a spooky part. You're gonna see in a second, but we're kind of following these footsteps and the frost into this really dark area. Also the loading screens in this game, phenomenal. I think they're so cute. Just a by the way thing. So here I light my lantern and then these eyes open up behind me. Like clearly it's the Grok, not to be confused with the hash slinging slasher, but this was creepy to play for the first time. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then Snuffkin is just like, wow, I've got to run. I've got to run. And so you're running from the Grok. I also was not very good at this. I forgot, uh, why did I run back into her? Like, beats me.
beats me, bro. I'm so sorry for the way that I am. Clearly not meant for a challenging game like Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley. But yeah, so these little like quicksand areas were slower to walk through and then you could sprint through the grass. So like the little quicksand areas gave the Grok time to catch up, which was scary. And then I would remember to sprint and then I would have to slow down and the Grok would start to catch up. It was, it was stressful. I did die more than once, but eventually you do make it out. In fact, there, I almost died here because I couldn't figure out how to jump off of this log. It just wouldn't let me go forward. And I was like, stop. The Grok is staring at me. Polite of her to like, stop though and let me figure it out. So I, I think I'm about to die here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot how to move the rock apparently. So I died, whatever. My f frantic sprinting came to an end here at this dead end and this little guy at the top pushed a ladder down for us. So we managed to get away from the Grok. It was huge relief, huge relief, but that was super cute. And then he, tells us a very different story from what little Mai said, right? So this creature is like, hmm, um, the Grok is actually just attracted to your lamp. She's harmless, which first of all, why did she freeze me then? But it turns out he also did see Moomin Troll here and is able to tell us like the true story. So Moomin Troll was traveling with the Grok, not kidnapped by the Grok. I also think it's funny there's specifically a no Grok sign. That's kind of rude. Like, look at- there's literally a no Grok sign, specifically. The police officers are actually haters. Seeing the devastated forest, he tried talking to the police, but they sent him off. Our friend Moomin Troll has been a great, um, I wanted to use the word purveyor, but I forgot what it meant. That's my bad. And that's the last I saw of him. Oh, this little guy is a hedgehog, by the way, and he is aptly named Hedgehog. So Moomin Troll was here with the Grok, but voluntarily. Sweet Moomin Troll, how typical, and how typical of Little Mai to exaggerate everything. So yeah, we're kind of coming to the real story here. And then we see smoke, which you're not gonna believe who is behind this. You're gonna be so shocked. Oh my gosh, not the police starting a fire in this forest next to literal piles of dry leaves. The sweet smell of progress is crazy. The park keeper should see us now. We're doing excellent work. They're like actively coughing, can't breathe. And Snufkin's about to tell them off as he does because he's smart boy. You can't have a fire here. It's too dry, which seems obvious. Relax, we've got this under control. And then immediately, immediately the forest is on fire. So that's cool, but you're not gonna believe this. The fire is a chance for redemption because who do we know who can solve this problem? The Grok, bro, the Grok. She has this trailing frost and she is what? Attracted to light. She loved our lamp. So she follows you around and puts the flames out effectively saving the forest and everyone who was scared of her heals from that because it turns out she wants the best for us and she gets rid of the fire. She also completes the arguably even more important task of absolutely petrifying the police officers, which I think is hilarious. You can see her coming up behind Snufkin and the police are just like, what the heck? I think this scene is funny. And then they run away screaming, this job doesn't pay enough, you know, true. And to wrap up this little story arc, the hedgehog gives us a flute as thank you for saving the forest. Snufkin explains that it was actually the Grok that saved the forest and the animals of the forest come together to befriend the Grok. The Grok is no longer a lonely, scary figure in the dark. So as you can see here, she's being joined by animals that were previously terrified of her because she is a good person. What we learned in today's video is that the Grok is a baddie and a friend of the forest. I figured that was a great place to wrap up for the day. We have access to a new instrument for next time and that's cute. We'll get to explore that. But we got to see the Grok story arc for now come to an end and I thought that was great. Alas, it has started raining on my island, but that's great. It's a tropical island. I hope you enjoyed this first look at Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley. I thought it was cute. Maybe not geared towards the more creative elements of cozy gaming, but definitely a fun and relaxing for the most part, aside from being chased by the Grok. 
a relaxing game. Thank you so much to my channel members. You all are so important to my channel. Thank you for your support. And if you are not a member and would like to become one, the link is in the description. I hope you enjoy your perks. That's all for now. Bye.